Bali, Indonesia. 2020. This is a year when we done over half a million in revenue, three years into starting uh, my Amazon business. So we had a problem. Uh, the problem was that our products were getting suspended um, multiple times to the point that Amazon kept sending us emails and we had to keep, keep re-enlisting our products. So we were in pretty uncharted territory in that I knew the next step was that we were going to get permanently banned potentially or at the very least we were going to lose out on a lot of revenue but kept getting disabled. Um, that was the NCX rate. So up until this point, um, we had issues that were unsolved and the reason they were unsolved, bringing it in from the last video, is that we, we thought we had issues and we brought them to our supplier. Uh, the main issue was that the material was not strong enough, the material was not thick enough, and therefore we were getting a lot of breakages in the product. Now when we brought this to our supplier, uh, he actually didn't believe us because he thought he knew the product better than us. And it was a, it was a case of them saying, no, the material is totally fine, there's no problems here and moving us on again. Now, we then went, used our feedback tracker that I talked about in the last video. If you haven't seen that, check it out. And we basically got the data on that. So we got the data, we tracked it for uh, six to nine months. We looked at the monthly defect percentages. We took a, a sample size from, uh, sample size of the data from our VOTC, from our uh, direct emails from our seller feedback and also from our product reviews. We would force source information and we would populate the, the feedback tracker. So at this point, um, things were looking pretty bleak. You know, I, I had been in business three years and things looked like it, it could fail at this point because of quality control issues. Now, what we done or what I basically done was build that data bank and then ordered or not ordered <laughs> so like a, the godfather here but then arranged the uh presentation with our suppliers in multiple suppliers at once and was get them in the bring them into the loop as far as what the issues were and try and give them the data on that so i prepared a slide deck and we were traveling maybe one hour to get to the uh, warehouse at the time where we were going to hold the presentation now on the same day if you're enjoying the content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for future videos. Now back to business. I had come down with uh, food poisoning, uh, bally belly, as they say. And let's just say things were not uh, pretty. Um, let's just say that, yeah, getting uh, away from the bathroom was probably a big step, never mind traveling an hour, two an hour and a half to do a presentation. So I was going to almost call it off only for it was really difficult to get meetings with our suppliers because some of them are located in the, in the mountains, etc. So I knew that we might have this one shop before our next order and that it was key that this goes ahead. So I struggled, I struggled through it, but still decided to go ahead with the meeting. So little uh, with stops along the way on that hour long journey and then eventually making it there um, for the presentation and then still having to go back to the bathroom as well. And for anyone that's lived in Asia, um, although it's in some places in Europe as well, it's not like uh, these places have uh, normal toilets. It's like they're more like hole in the ground, which is very standard here, um, but not ideal when you're dealing with, uh, let's say, a uh, sick stomach. So at that point, <laughs> um, things were touch and go, but we had arrived at the warehouse and I managed to then present you know, somehow, I don't know how, but it, it was a case of um, I couldn't back out because my whole life in Asia would have been basically over, essentially. So I managed to present the data, and by the end of it, the suppliers had seen enough. They knew because I had went away, got the data on it. They knew that because I had obviously came here sick. They knew because I had obviously presented um, a presentation on it because of that, that they knew it was legit. So subsequently after that, that was when we upgraded the materials, and thank God, after that then the next order went without a hitch and the defects came right down because usually we would find um, in my businesses and my uh, clients businesses is that 80 percent of the time or sorry 80 percent of the issues are usually down to one or two uh, or 80 percent of the defects are usually down to one or two issues um, and if you can tackle those then things look 
a hell of a lot different. So if you want to also get the data on your uh, product um, defects and look up evolving your product over time like we did to reach a point where our products are 4.7, 4.8 in a difficult product niche in the sense that the quality is difficult. Uh, one thing of, of sourcing out of Indonesia, well, people are great, very uh, professional. Quality can be an issue at times. You know, it's just a few, a few more years behind China. Um, so that is the case. But we were very lucky to be able to, or I was very lucky to be able to muster up the strength to see that presentation through and then also save my business and save my, um, save my, basically my life in Asia. So I hope this was interesting. Check out the video here where we show through our free feedback tracker that will help you evolve your products in 2024.